Hello everyone welcome back to the channel. Finally, the UCL event will start tomorrow along with some new players in the trick or treat event, which we'll discuss. But first, let's open some packs. I've literally gotten this trash card thousands of times, and they just keep giving me. I really don't know why they keep giving me this card over and over again. Anyways, guys, the universal token shop that they added will end tomorrow. So make sure to claim all your preferred packs. And I just got 1700 tokens today. So let's open this 98 to 103 rated pack. First, 10,000 coins. All right. Then I got a 101 rated card. At least this time, they gave me something different, which I'm happy about. Otherwise, I was thinking they'd give me that same left back again. Even though this card isn't really useful, I'm still happy, to be honest. So, the UCL event will definitely start tomorrow, as we already had some leaks, so it's confirmed to come tomorrow. But I don't know why they haven't made any official post about it yet. They should have done it today. So, that's why I'm a bit confused, to be honest. But mostly, it will start tomorrow, and I've already discussed the event pattern and everything with you all. This UCL event will be a side event, but I think it will last for a long time. This UCL event will be based on the group stage, and after that, we will have the road to the final and final. For now, the max OVR players in this event will be 103, so we can definitely expect to see some interesting players and icons. Well, in this UCL event, we can expect to see some milestone rewards, skill game matches. But most importantly, we will also see authentic club challenges in this UCL League phase event. I don't think I need to say much more today, as we've already discussed this a lot. So, just like the La Liga Club Challenge, you will choose a team here and play head-to-head -head against real players. From here, you can earn some UCL players and mostly UCL tokens, just like how we earn club tokens. But I really don't have any idea about this normal challenge mode. In the UCL event, I don't think there will be any AI matches. I mean this kind of challenge mode specifically. Well, we might see some of these cards. These are just concept cards that I'm hoping will be added, and I think you will like them. Well, after the UCL event, the new Golden Ball event will come next week, even though the UCL event will still be ongoing. But this Golden Ball event will be our next main event, which is coming to the game for the first time. And we can expect to see many great players in this event. Well, there's still a lot to discuss about this event, so I'll definitely talk about it in a video later when we have enough leaks and updates. For now enjoy these concept cards. There aren't any major updates regarding the trick or treat event, it will continue in the same way next week as it has been. Floor 3 will unlock tomorrow with the same kind of rewards and paths. You'll need to reach the exit door to claim the milestone reward, and that's it. And definitely claim all the milestone rewards, as it's very important to collect both the previous and upcoming last milestone rewards. After claiming all the milestone rewards, we will be able to claim a 99 to 103 rated icon player, which is definitely a W pack in my opinion. So definitely make sure to claim all the milestone rewards. 
Another secret world will also be available, with its portal accessible on Floor 3. From this secret world chapter, as usual you'll receive a Mascherano card, a special logo, and other resources. Some new Team of the Week cards will be added tomorrow, and this time we might see a Vinicius Jr. card. I'm hoping for a 99 rated card so let's see. However, I'd suggest saving your points for now and not spending them, as I believe 100 plus OVR cards will be available here soon. Then you can use your points on those. The current Player of the Month players will refresh next week, basically next Thursday, so some new players will be added here. And next time, I really hope the developers consider adjusting the requirements a bit. The current requirements are truly tough for all FC Mobile users, so they should make it more suitable for all players. Literally, having 7 or 8 100 plus OVR cards isn't possible for everyone. So let's see what they do, but I really hope they decrease these requirements a bit. After 5 days, Division Rivals is ending, so make sure to grind hard and reach at least Legendary 1 to get better rewards. Recently, I did a bit of grinding in head-to-head -head and easily reached FC Champion. So, I think that's enough for now as I don't have much time to play, to be honest. Owen is coming to the Icon Chronicle tomorrow, and I think Beckham might also arrive. However, Beckham could possibly be added next week, I'm not sure about that. It's confirmed that Beckham will be added in the Icon Chronicle event for sure. I hope they give him a 101 or 102 OVR card, and it would be great if they make him a 4-star skill move and weak foot player. Extra time offers will be updated tomorrow, and it's most likely that the extra time offers will completely end next week. Last time, they made adjustments to the market pick offers, and those offers are still available. However, I'm not sure if this time they will remove them completely or update them again. And finally, guys, Messi has been sold, and now I have 2 billion coins. So, I'm all set for the golden ball event. How much do you guys have right now? Let me know in the comments. Also, I already have some 102 OVR and 103 OVR cards, so I won't be changing them as they are performing great. I'm just waiting for the remaining positions. I hope with 2 billion coins, I can build a dream team that I'll love and use in the long term. Also, after the Golden Ball event starts, I expect the prices of some players, especially the 101 OVR cards, to drop significantly. So, I would suggest not upgrading your team right now. If you want to, just wait a few days, as the market value of players is very high at the moment. So that's it for today guys. I hope you all enjoyed and I'll see you in the next video. Now it's time for me to head to the gym. Stay safe, enjoy, and thanks for watching.